Hey, how's it going? And today I'm going to show you how to switch from a first person player or third person player into a car and also from a car back to the first person player. And this is actually very easy to do, but you just have to understand a couple things conceptually. And it's different from other methods you might have seen on YouTube. So to start this, we're just going to go into the first person template. I'll just leave it called My Project 2. We actually don't need starter content, so we'll just go create. There should be a restart involved. I've had a lot of glitches today in trying to set this up, so hopefully I won't hit too many walls, but we'll see what happens. Okay, to start this, we're just gonna kind of set up the initial environment because we're gonna be bringing a car in here and there's no room to really drive it. So let's go ahead and delete, delete these walls. And then what we'll do is we'll select this floor, this bottom mesh, then we'll hit space bar, and then we're just gonna stretch it out so he has some room to drive. So you could really spend a lot of time creating a unique environment in here so you have space for someone to drive. And right now we're in the, we're the first person template. We're gonna click on right here where it says first person template, as a matter of fact, and we're gonna just drag this forward, like right about there, and then right about there. And I'll hit F to kind of get down there a little bit closer. And maybe come down like this. And just raise that up maybe a little bit more. And then over here where it says first person template, we're just going to change that to say press 2 to drive. Press 1 to oh, press 1 to escape. Okay, so there's just some sort of message control there. Uh, maybe that's too big, so we can always dust that font later and stuff like that. So, but that's good enough for right now. So, we've got that all set up, and now we just need to get the car. So, what we're going to do is we've got to come here to add content feature pack and go vehicle and just go add the project. And it's going to should tell us that we need to enable a plugin. But for some reason, I'm not getting that message anymore. But add to project. Ah, uh, here we go. Missing, enable missing plugin. And then it's going to want a restart. I knew that. Okay. So make sure you get that message because if you don't, it won't, it won't work. It has to restart. And I'm in 5.1 right now, so... Okay, so now what we can do is we can come down here and under our vehicle blueprint, there's a sports car. It's a really nice model, by the way. And just drag that onto the scene, just like that. Okay, and believe it or not, that's kind of it. Now, where's our player start at here? Let me Let me see something. Where is that thing? It looks like I'm sitting right on top of it. It's right there. So I probably want to be right next to the car door, like right about there. See where it says bad size right there? That means that I'm not in a good spot. Something's in my way. I'm not sure what. But it, let's see. It's still saying bad size. I don't, know the, I don't know why it's saying that. There's something not agreeing with it. How high do we have to go a certain height? Or there, it's not saying it anymore. I don't know what is in its way, but right there, it's not saying it anymore. So, so let's hit play and see what we got here. So press two to drive. Press one to escape. There's our car. Okay, everything looks good. I can run around. Okay, all right, good enough. All right, so now I'll escape. Okay, so now let me just point out one thing. This is the, called the front camera, and that's the back camera. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make an adjustment in a minute here 
to where when the game starts and we're driving the car that we're, we come in on the front camera. The reason why is that I feel like it's more immersive that way than that this camera is selected first. And the other thing I was going to show you is that on these controls, on the inputs, if you come here on the maps, I believe it's action maps, wait, wait, input this thing right here, and we look at these mappings, it tells you what the controls are, and some of these I didn't know, like backspace is reset, and toggle camera is the tab key, so if you want to know what controls the car, it's all listed out right here, so... That's kind of neat to know that. One of the other things and one of the main concepts is you really can't switch game modes in a game, but you can do game mode overrides in levels. So since we're in the first person template, we really couldn't switch to a different game mode within this level. We're kind of stuck in this. But if we go into a different level within our game, then we can switch a game mode override in that level. So that's what's going to allow us. So if I hit play right now of course I have no I can move around but I have no control over the car it's just an asset blueprint in the in the scene so what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna escape and I everything is fine in this level now everything's fine so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the first person here go into maps and where it has the first person map that we're in right now we're gonna come up here on file and go save current level as and we're gonna come back into where we are under maps so you got to kind of work your way back through the menu system and get back where you are right here and we're just going to call this drive map okay and we're going to go save so now what we've created is basically an alternate universe so this is exactly a duplicate level the level we were just in so a player wouldn't know any different that they wouldn't necessarily know that they're on a different level they just know now they're going to be behind the wheel of a car and the world still looks exactly the same that's kind of the innovation on this is that we're going to switch levels so now that we're in this level this drive map level if we come to world settings we can do the game mode override and we're going to switch to vehicle advanced mode here and we'll go ahead and save that so now if i hit play You'll notice it spawns in a car in this game mode, right? So we're going to drive around. We should have full control to drive around in this. It's like parking here in the city. So in this car with all the full controls and everything. Oops, I went off the clip. So anyway, that's what we're going to do is just switch into this alternate universe and be able to drive the car. So when we're in the, this alternate universe, what we can do is just go into the level blueprint here and we're going to click up here and we're just going to go keyboard, keyboard one right here. And then we're just going to go open level by object reference. That's more secure. And we want to go back to our first person map. So that's all we're going to do here is save that and close that. And then when we come into this level, we want to be we want the person to be inside the car. So we're going to go into the sports car here, come in here, and we can dock this up here. And these are all our controls. And what we're going to do is just come up here to where it says event begin play. And we got our our front camera, we can pull off and our back camera we can pull off. And we're going to uh, pull off of here. Well, let's do our back camera. I'd like to do our back camera first. So do our back camera first. And we're going to go pull off of here and go deactivate. And just plug that in there like that. And then off of here, our front camera, we're going to pull off and go activate. Here. So then when the game starts... They'll still have the toggle control with the tab key, but I want the game to start with the person inside the car. It's so much better and feels so much more immersive. Then we'll compile and save that. And then we have our open level down here. So now we're done here. We can save everything there. Now we just go back on here to our maps. We'll go into our first person map now. And... Actually, we don't need to be in here. We can go into our first person here, blueprint here. 
and on here we can do a keyboard press again and it's going to be keyboard it's one right i think it's one yeah it's one or is it two gosh darn i can't remember it's been a long day hold on let me go in here save what is it what did i put one yeah so it's two so sorry about that i forgot so come in here to blueprint first person and so this is going to be two so it's going to be keyboard two keyboard two and this is going to be open level by reference and this is going to be the drive level the drive map and compile and save and so let's see if it works now to start we want to make sure we're in the first person blueprint here first person map and the one other thing i neglected to mention is we have this since the car spawns in we don't need this car anymore so we can just delete it and go ahead and save okay great now we'll come into the first person we'll hit play and somehow I don't know how we lost our car on this level so let me go in here get another car to put in there okay hit save so let's try it and see if it works so there's our car press 2 to drive press 1 to escape there's our car I press 2 I want to drive boom there I am in the car and off I go well if I can get going here and there I go driving around I'm gonna go off the edge or so but you get the idea right so I'm back up I have all full the full vehicle mount controls and then I hit stop and then when I'm done I simply hit one and I'm back to the first person blueprint running around like this and that's all there is to it. So anyway, I hope you found this helpful. Take care, have a great day, and I'll talk to you next time.